There are a lot of people out there that are having real problems with these new Briggs & Stratton plastic square shaped carburetors that are coming on a lot of your lawnmowers nowadays. I'm going to show you how to clean one of these and I'm also going to show you what I believe is a real problem inside this carburetor that's easy to repair yourself. Going to come up right now. Welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again guys. I got to take you through another video on these plastic carburetors. If you have one of these on your lawnmower and your lawnmower doesn't start, I just did a, a video. Uh, it's on my channel. It's called um, How to Repair a Plastic Carburetor Problem. Put a link up here in the top right corner for you again. If you go back to my channel and watch that one first before you go ripping your carburetor off thinking it needs cleaned, check that video first. If that's not your problem, then we're going to carry on with this. This is a fairly easy job. You may need one specialty tool, which I will take you through at the uh, near the end here when we get into that. Also, you know, it's nothing that a ginormous can of Coors Light isn't going to help you with either. Oh, that might be my new word of the day right there, ginormous. First thing that we need to do with this carburetor is clean the outside. You don't want anything um, getting on your fingers when we open this up and you're, we're going to be cleaning the inside of this carburetor. We don't want all that stuff on your fingers getting on the inside and actually having the opposite effect. Maybe you'll make it even dirtier in there. Spray the whole, whole outside of your carburetor with a little carb spray or brake cleaner or something like that. Take your air compressor and just clean the outside of that carburetor as good as you can. To get this thing open, we got to take the float bowl off first. Um, a seven millimeter wrench socket fits on there good. Uh, a nine thirty second is probably what it's supposed to be. Either one of those is going to work. Get those screws off. There's two screws and there's kind of a tight O-ring that's holding this bowl on. It's a little flat screwdriver, something like that. Pry it off like that and you might see some fuel spill out of that bowl right there onto your bench. Don't worry about that. Look, dump that fuel out into a little container if you haven't already spilled it all over your bench. Look inside that bowl and make sure it's nice and clean. There's no sediment, no water in there. And uh, again, blow that out with your air compressor as good as you can. Put that bowl aside. Now, here we go with the inside of the carburetor. This is your float right here. Fairly easy to take off that too. We want you to get that off. You just pop this screw or this uh, pin out here like that. Pop it up. Pull that uh, float out. Make sure you don't lose that pin or your needle. There's your needle. Now, that's what we have left right there. This is this white part in here right there. I believe the part parts break down, the parts diagram on Briggs and Stratton says that that's called a cartridge. If you take a little flat screwdriver, a little carb adjusting screwdriver or a little uh, watch repair screwdriver, a flat one like this, we can pop that out. We stick that down in there a little bit like that and just pry up on it like that. And now pull that cartridge out. That's what it looks like. Now for now, just set that aside because I'm gonna show you what I think the problem is with these things. To clean the rest of the carburetor, can of a, a carb spray or brake cleaner, and I'll take you through uh, what I do on this one. This is how I clean one of these things. Right where your fuel line goes in, I just make sure that's clear. I put that carb spray in there and squirt some carb spray through and just make sure 
that it's actually coming out where that needle was in there. You know that's clear. Now, there's two holes right where your air filter side is where you see this red ring around here. If you open that choke up a little bit, you can see right there, there's one hole on the left side down there deep, one hole on the right side right there. We want to clean that. Let's start with that right side. That's the easy one. You just put your red tube in there and squirt that, and you're going to see some, uh, some spray dripping out the bottom, and you know that's clear now. This one's a little bit weird for me. The one on the left side right here, on some carburetors, I can spray into there and it shoots right out this hole where you pulled that cartridge out. And then if I put the red tube in the opposite way and squirt in there, the carb spray will shoot out that hole. It goes both ways. On some carburetors, I've even taken brand new carburetors right out of the Briggs & Stratton box and tried to spray carb spray through there and no carb spray goes through either way whether or not i can get carb spray through that passageway right there or not i've tried this i put both carburetors on one doesn't spray through one does put them both on the same lawnmower and the lawnmower runs absolutely perfectly so if you can't get carb spray through that passageway right there I honestly wouldn't worry about that. I actually experimented with that and tried it, and it does not make a difference. I believe that the real problem in these things is in that white cartridge that you just pulled out. Here's what I do when I pull one of these out. I spray carb cleaner through like this. This right here is your main jet. That's where all of your fuel, your fuel from your fuel tank goes into the bowl, fills the bowl up, and then all of your fuel from that goes through this tiny hole right there, up into your engine and makes your engine run. You'll see that that uh, main jet is like a little brass plug in there. There's another one up in the top, the part that actually goes into the carburetor right there. Put your red tube in there and spray through there like that. You should see carburetor coming through both sides, coming through here, coming through there. If you really want to give it a good blast, put your finger over this one and then it'll really spray out of there. See that? And now put your finger over top of the main jet and it'll squirt out there really good. You can give that a real good blast to really clean that. This one right over here, it just goes straight through I've never seen one of those plugged yet. However, I have seen this main jet plugged many times. I've talked to several mechanics um, over the last few weeks, small engine mechanics who are dealing with this. Many of them have told me, all oh, those Briggs plastic carburetors, they're junk. Just replace them. Just throw them out and put a new carburetor on there. There's something wrong with those. Well, I can't do that, you guys. That is not my personality. You can teach a drunk monkey to put a new carburetor or any part on a lawnmower. It doesn't make that monkey a small engine mechanic. I need to know why this didn't work. So I really started getting into this. The reason I started getting into this was because there was a lady that brought her lawnmower in uh, a while ago when these things first started coming out and she said it wouldn't start, left it to be repaired. And sure enough, it wouldn't start for me either. I pulled all this apart, cleaned it, and when I sprayed carb spray through there like I showed you, there was nothing coming out of that main jet. I have three little drill bits here Two of them are drill bits. This one right here is, uh, uh, I measured this with my vernier caliper and it measures at uh, two, 28 thousandths of an inch or 0.71 millimeter. 
That drill bit right there, well, I can get through the main jet easily on, on the main jet on the Honda style carburetors, the metal Briggs and Stratton carburetors, and on the Tecumseh carburetors too, the main jets. That big drill bit right there goes through those easily. Here's the next size down I had in my wire drill bit set. That measures at 20 thousandths of an inch, or 0.52 of a millimeter. I couldn't get that through her main jet. I have this little wire here that measures at 13 thousandths of an inch, or 0.34 millimeters. I couldn't get that through her main jet. I finally wiggled it enough and enough and I actually got that little wire through there and I went, okay, that's good. Now, and then I sprayed through there and I, there was spray coming out, so I went, okay, it's clear. I put it all back together, I started up, first pull, ran great, sent her on her way. She came back two days later and said it still won't start. And I'm like, okay, pulled it apart again, checked it again, and it was plugged again. I po poked it out again. Started first pull for me and ran great. She brought it back a third time. Now I'm getting embarrassed because why isn't this working? These are fairly new carburetors. I didn't have any experience with these things. Then I, that's when I realized that, okay, I can get that big, bigger drill bit through there, that, that uh, 28 thou through every other jet out there. But I can't even hardly get that small, small one through. All the fuel's going through that, that, uh, that little hole to get into your engine. So I went, okay, I'm gonna take the middle size right in between those, uh, the, the uh, 20 thou, 0.52 millimeter drill bit, and I drilled it out. Now, if you see, this is the 20 thou right here on this cartridge, look at this. I can't get that through. It's not going in there, and it should be. If I put that in any other main jet of any other carburetor out there, that thing would slide right in there and I'd be able to wiggle it around in there. So this is a huge difference, you guys. This main jet right here is so freaking tiny in these plastic carburetors. I think that's what the problem is. I drilled that out like that to open that up to uh, 20 thou or a 0.52 of a millimeter. And I told her, I put it all back together, it started great for me again. I said, I told her, I said, I think I figured out your problem. If you have another problem, please bring it back because I want to know if that fixed it or not. That was well over a month ago, haven't heard from her since. And I absolutely believe that that was the problem right there. The main jet is not big enough. Ever since then, I've been, I've been doing that with every carburetor that comes in now. If I can just barely get that little thin wire through there, or if at all, then I drill it out to the, the, the 20 thou jet size. And her fuel tank was absolutely spotlessly clean. Her fuel was perfect. There was no water in that carburetor or anything. It was just that that was such the tiniest little microscopic hole in there, in that main jet, it just plugged up instantly, just like that. Now, by the way, the average twist tie out there, you know what a twist tie is, hold your bread bags together and stuff. You peel a little bit of the plastic off the end or a little bit of the cardboard off the end. The average twist tie wire is about uh, 16 thousandths of an inch. A little bit bigger than the wire that I have there. If you want to just check this, take a twist tie wire like that, and if that does not fit through your hole, your main jet hole right there like that, if you can't get that through, I absolutely believe this is your problem. Now, unfortunately, the only way that I can see for you to repair this carburetor is if you have one of those little wire, micro wire drill bit sets, so you can actually take that and, and drill it out. I have a link on my description that'll take you back to a site to buy a little 
micro wire drill bit set like that. Also on Steve's Small Engine Saloon, my website, there's a tab at the top that says parts and tools. That'll also take you back to get some of those. If you're a small engine mechanic or if you just do a lot of this stuff at home, I think it's quite imperative that you have one of those sets anyways. I use these things all the time on all kinds of different equipment. So check that link out, get one of those drill bit sets and hone that out like I, I showed you right there. And I honestly believe that that is going to fix the problem on these plastic Briggs and Stratton carburetors. And I really believe that that is going to uh, save some of you guys some money. I think your lawnmower is gonna run way better, way longer without uh, plugging up. So there you go. That was a long one, woo! Hope I helped you guys out. Subscribe, like my channel, share it with your friends. There's a lot of problems with these things out there. Again, looking forward to doing the next video for you guys. Steve out. Yeah.